Hi. Today we're going to go through the eight pieces of brocade. If you haven't watched the videos yet on fundamental breathing, fundamental posture, or warm-up, please go do that before watching this video. This is the eight pieces of brocade. It's an exercise that's been practiced in China for about a thousand years. A brocade is a piece of golden armor. It is said that if you practice these eight movements every single day for the rest of your life, it's like having a golden armor for your health and well-being. We'll go through each of these exercises one by one and then piece them all together in the end. Traditionally, these movements were done 81 times. Today, for this video, we're going to go three times, but I encourage you to extend those movements and practices as you see fit and as time allows. Let's start with the first piece. The first piece is called holding up the heavens. The feet are flat on the floor. They're about shoulder width apart. The knees are slightly relaxed and bent. The low back is flat and open. The spine is straight but not stiff. Shoulders are relaxed. Our arms are at our side and we're maintaining some space between our arm and our torso as if holding an egg in our armpit. Tuck the chin slightly, extend through the crown of the head, extend through the spine. Imagine that there's a string holding your head from the heavens. Let's begin. Using our breath to guide our movement, we'll breathe in, bringing the hands up, bringing them overhead. Breathing out, hands come down at our sides. Again. next movement as we breathe in we're gonna come back up overhead and we're gonna to bend to the left and feel the stretch open up the side breathe back in breathe out go to the other side Breathe out, hands come back down, and relax. The second movement is called drawing the bow. We're going to use our fundamental posture, but we're going to widen our stance just a little bit here to more of what's called a horse stance. Be careful not to go past what you're capable of. We don't want this to cause any discomfort. It's supposed to be relaxing and feel good. So starting with a wider stance, but in our fundamental posture, Breathe out as we draw the bow. Hands come back down, breathing in. Draw the bow. You want to feel the stretch through here. Your hands can either be pointed outward, like shooting a bow, looking beyond the distance, extending outward with intention. You can also move your hand like this. Feel the stretch through the palm, inside of the forearm. Do whatever feels best for you. If you want to pinch your shoulder blades together, really get a good stretch here. Breathing in, hands come back down.
shorten your stance and relax. The third movement we're going to do is called separating heaven and earth. So again, starting in our fundamental posture. We're going to breathe in, hands come up. And then when they reach about your chest level, we're gonna breathe out and separate heaven and earth. Head is straight, chin is tucked, extending through the crown. Breathing in back to center, holding a ball, breathing out, separating heaven and earth. Then at the end, you're going to breathe in, hold the ball, breathe out, hands come down, relax. The fourth movement is called look back and let go. We're going to stand in our fundamental posture. Hands are at our waist. We're going to keep our hips straight, but rotate our upper torso. We'll rotate to the left first, turning our chest to the left. As we reach our maximum range, we'll continue to turn at the neck. As we reach our maximum range, we're going to continue to look back behind us, feeling the stretch. Look back at all the stuff you've been holding on to. Let it go. Breathing back into center. And repeating on the other side. Breathing out, turning at the chest, turning at the neck, and looking back. And letting go. Let's do that a few more times. Breathe back to center and relax. The fifth movement is called swing the head and wag the tail. We're going to widen our stance now into a, a horse stance like we did in number two. But try to maintain the fundamental principles of posture in this position. We are going to drop our weight into our left leg. We're going to swing our head as we wag our tail, shifting our weight to the right side and extending up and looking back over our left foot. Feel the stretch through the entire lateral side of the body here. Breathing in as we shift our weight, swing our head, wag our tail back to the left side. Breathing out, looking over the right side and feeling the stretch of the lateral side of the body. and come back to the drill. That exercise is a little tricky. It takes some practice, some time. Just keep at it, you'll eventually get it.
The next movement is called touching the earth. We're going to breathe in as our hands come up overhead like number one. But this time we're gonna breathe out. We're gonna bend forward at the waist and touch our toes. We're gonna to grab our toes as we gently pull upward and extend. As we breathe in, we're gonna breathe out, bend at the knee, then breathe back in as we come up and do it again. And come back to neutral and relax. The next exercise is called reaching out into nature. We're going to go ahead and widen our stance again, but maintain the fundamental principles that we've discussed. Our hands are be at our sides and fists, shoulders are relaxed. We're going to breathe in. Then we're gonna breathe out and extend our arm as we look beyond with intense focus. And we're gonna breathe in as our hand comes in. And we're gonna breathe out and repeat. In. And when you're done, just come back to neutral, relax. Our last movement here is called shake it out. Starting in our fundamental posture, we're going to breathe in as we have before, raising our arms upward. We're going to interlock our fingers as we come up, extend overhead, come up onto our toes, then we're going to drop down into our heel and shake it out. <sighs> Breathing in. Again. When you're done, just relax and come back to neutral. So these eight pieces can be done multiple times. Again, traditionally, they would do each one of these exercises 81 times. I like to do them a minimum of three times if I'm in a rush, preferably nine times to get a decent practice in. But I encourage you to do as much as you can to fit it into your regular schedule. Consistency is important. You do these every single day you'll have a golden armor for your health and well-being. Thanks.